I can be snarky with Brock Purdy. Um, I can't be snarky with Brock Purdy. I can be snarky a lot. But he's really good. I'm going to say what he, like, he's not flawless, but he's really good. And you could see it in comparison to Kenny Pickett today. Kenny Pickett was a first-round pick last year. Same draft class as Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy was the last pick in the draft. Look at Kenny Pickett play. Like, yeah, Purdy's on a better team than Kenny Pickett, but Kenny Pickett doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He drops back and has no idea where to go with the ball. He has no idea where his best player is, George Pickens. George Pickens is the go-to guy on Pittsburgh, and Kenny Pickett couldn't find him. He dropped back and looked confused. He had no feel for this offense, whatever that is in Pittsburgh, whatever their scheme is. It's his second year on the team. He had no feel for it. He was terrible. He exuded no confidence, no rhythm, no timing, nothing. As opposed to Purdy, who exudes all those qualities. He's super confident. The, the ultimate leader. Perfect timing. Really fits this offense well. So I think it was a clear contrast between the two young quarterbacks from the same draft class. Obviously, the Steelers wish, well, maybe they're in denial, but I think they wish they had drafted Purdy instead of freaking Kenny Pickett because you could have gotten Purdy in round seven. And he's better than Kenny Pickett. Purdy does all the little things really, really well. He escapes pressure well. He's a great leader. Like, I think he might be even better leader than Jimmy Garoppolo was. He doesn't want to be liked. He doesn't ask to be liked, kind of like Trey Lance was kind of trying to be the good guy. Purdy doesn't really do that. He just carries himself like he's 35 years old. And as a 35-year-old myself, I appreciate that. The way he talks in press conferences, the way he carries himself on the field, the way he carries himself in the huddle, he's just your quintessential veteran quarterback, but he's only 23. So all that's great. Really, I mean, like everything with Brock Purdy is great until the ball leaves his hand. Then, I mean, I think you guys saw it today, and it's hard to say it or type it when the Niners are up 20 or 23. But let's be honest. What would you think of those throws that he made today? How much zip did they have on him? Now, you might say zip doesn't matter, which is an opinion you could have. But I'd have to say, if we're being honest, he did not have much zip on his throws. He had less zip today than he had last year. I would say the clinical, scientific term, scientific, scientific term for Purdy's passes, they're ducks. Accurate ducks, they can be effective ducks, but they are ducks nonetheless. Peyton Manning won a Super Bowl in 2015 throwing ducks. Maybe Brock Purdy will win a Super Bowl in 2023 throwing ducks, but those are what they are. His first touchdown throw to Brandon Ayuk, Ayuk was wide open. Purdy's pass was a floater. So, I mean, on this offense, it seems like it's not a big deal most of the time because the defense is so good. The weapons are so good. Kyle Shanahan's so good. People are wide open left and right. You don't have to throw the ball downfield very often. There's all these open receivers 10 to 15 yards down the field who get yards after the catch. So in that sense, maybe Purdy's good enough because he is quite good. I gave him a B plus for his performance. I think he's like a B plus quarterback. It's hard to call him an A quarterback when he has very little arm strength. He puts the ball and he does put the ball on the ground. Like he had one pass today that really should have been picked off. It was dropped. He gets lucky with that, but that's going to even out. And then he fumbled twice. That's another issue with Purdy. He's a little guy. And when I say little, he's the same size as me, except probably 40 pounds heavier than me with gigantic legs. So who am I to talk? But he's a little guy for a football player. When he gets hit, it's a big collision, and he often drops the ball today. He dropped it twice, put it on the ground twice. He recovered one behind his back. It's one of the most incredible fumble recoveries ever. And it's like, yeah, okay, Colton McKivitz got beat. He got hit by TJ Watt. Uh, he forces fumbles. Sure, it's tough to still hold on to the ball. Like, they were up 20, and he was th putting the ball on the ground, throwing it to the other team. Like, can't do that. And I feel like that's kind of who he is. He's a little turnover prone, but in his nine career starts, he's gotten a little lucky with that. So I'm not trying to nitpick him. They won a game. It's great. They're 1-0. Wonderful. But they haven't won the Super Bowl yet. And I still think there are a lot of questions that Brock Purdy needs to answer. Like, is he healthy? Yes. Is he confident? Yes. Is he functional? Absolutely. But has how much zip has he lost? Like, what was his best throw in this game? What was his most memorable throw in this game? The touchdown pass, the second touchdown pass to Ayuk. That was a really nice throw. But it was a duck. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how far can the Niners make it with a quarterback with those ducks. Teams have won Super Bowls with duck throwers. But I feel like Purdy's ducks like have a broken wing. Like one wing's a little messed up. He has some misses where you're like, did you not step into that? Or what happened? Did it get tipped? But still a really good quarterback. I mean, better than Trey Lance. Trey Lance may surpass Brock Purdy one day. But Brock Purdy's better than him. Probably better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Probably better than any quarterback the Niners have had in a while. Still, how far is he going to go throwing ducks? Today, real far. But I think it's fair to mention that the Steelers were terrible and had no energy. What the hell was that? Not our problem. Their problem. Solid B-plus from Brock Purdy today. Give Ayuk his extension, says Nathan Flores. Hey, Patrick Peterson, still waiting for that interception you were saying you were getting. He dropped one. He's the one that dropped the interception that Purdy should have thrown. CMC is a beast. Great way to start the season. Dave Barkley says, Grant, you know how I feel. And Kyle brought this team to play. They were ready. One yard allowed, 28 minutes in. We are not perfect, but good weapons. Now, please play Mason Moore and CMC a little less and improve our own line. Colton McKivitz, uh, Cap Lowy and T says, oh my God, Grant, you see BA completely tossed their safety during a CMC touchdown run. I did. Brandon Ayuk on the mission for the bag. David Baker says, will Brock's throwing improve with time? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe he'll get arm fatigue and it'll get worse. Maybe he'll need a deloading week. Don't know. Many PSF says, are we criticizing completed passes? Cold world. Are we criticizing completed passes? giving him a B plus. If you want to give him an A plus, you can do that and put little stars next to his name too. So he really feels good about his performance. Scribe mind says, sorry, Grant, we are pretty believers. Now he's going to the pro bowl. He looked legit in the offense, put up 30. Yeah, but you guys were Garoppolo believers like two years ago. So forgive me if I'm a little skeptical that he's going to win the Super Bowl. He is good though. Hound594 says, it's, uh, I know it's out of pocket, but I watched a cone zone where y'all rate movies top five. Anyways, no Rocky number one, peak cinema. I love Rocky One. Absolutely. It's a great movie. Khalil Kemp says, was it just me or was that the most blasé 37 road win ever? It was blasé. It felt like the Niners should have been up 30 nothing in the first half, kind of let Pittsburgh hang around. Then Pittsburgh was like, we don't want to play anymore. We're done. Christian, go for 65. Geo Dude says, you tripping, Grant. Brock was ace today. Okay. That's your opinion. I thought he was B+. Plus. Good. Very good. But not excellent. I don't know. Unless you like those ducks, maybe maybe you like Peking duck. Maybe you like roasted duck. Maybe you like barbecue duck. I love Peking duck. I'm just going to say that. Had it last weekend. It was phenomenal. RNG Lounge, San Francisco. Got the duck. Came with the little, the little things that you put the duck in. I liked it. I dedicated the meal to Brock Purdy. And we had a great time. Sean Barnes says, do you think the Niners created that cap space for TV 12 if needed? Or Kirk Cousins. But they don't need him because Brock Purdy's the greatest quarterback ever. Wave 9 says, I hate BP, but he played good. He did play good. Why do you hate him? You hate Brock Purdy? I, I like Brock Purdy. He played good today. Scribe Mind says, never a Jimmy Garbaggio believer Brock cooked. I bet you were. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. All Niner fans be believed in Jimmy Garoppolo circa 20 2019. They did. 